Hey, I'm Guy from Quack, and today we'll quickly explore how Quack and JFrog help data science teams deliver faster and better machine learning models. Quack allows data science teams to quickly build ML-based products while meeting the highest engineering standards. We provide everything from data preparation to model training and model deployment, all in one platform. Quack now natively integrates with the JFrog Artifactory and X-Tree Engine. Customers can enjoy the advanced machine learning capabilities of Quack while managing all artifacts on JFrog. This integration also provides customers with model vulnerability scanning both during training and deployment. By using Quack and JFrog, data science teams can enjoy Quack's tailored platform for machine learning and AI, where they can manage the entire machine learning lifecycle. Quack will automatically sync all data and model artifacts to JFrog, which provides model vulnerability scanning using JFrog X-Ray and artifact management and data governance using JFrog Artifactory. On a high-level view, Quack stores all model and data artifacts on JFrog, including train models, datasets, and serving images, scanning for vulnerabilities using JFrog X-Ray. This integration also includes Python repositories and Hugging Face model proxy for enhanced security. Let's see a quick demo of Quack and JFrog together. This is the Quack platform and the overview screen. Here we have details about our account, deployed models, features, vector store, and workspaces, which are managed Jupyter Notebooks. In this case, we have one deployed model on our account. To start with the Quack and JFrog integration, we'll go to Settings, Integrations, JFrog. Initially, we need to provide the base URL of our account and admin access token. In this case, we've already configured the account and we can choose private Python repositories and hugging face proxies. Let's go to our model, the finance bot, and the builds table. Every time we build a new version, we train a new model and the artifact is created. Every row you see in this table is a different artifact. And the first one is the deployed one, the one that's live. If we deep dive into one of them, first we have access to all the logs that were generated during this build. Then we can go to the code tab and see what are the files that are within this artifact. Everything is stored on JFrog as we'll soon see. For example, the Quack model artifact, if we'll go to JFrog, is stored on the JFrog artifactory and I have access to it from the Quack platform and from the JFrog platform. Additionally, as this model uses Hugging Face, we can leverage the JFrog X-ray scanning to get a view of the vulnerabilities found within this Hugging Face model. The users on Quack get a view of the scan results and they can see the full scan details by clicking scan results from the Quack platform and they get directly to the JFrog platform to the full scan results of this model. Let's deep dive a bit more about the model view in Quack. First, we have the overview screen. The overview screen gives me engineering and performance metrics about how the model behaves. In this case, we can see throughput, error rate, um, throughput over time, response time, memory usage, and CPU, all the details we need from an engineering perspective. As we saw, we have the builds table, which is the model registry. I can register parameters, I can track versions and do anything I need to track my model version history. We have the deployments tab. Here I can see the current deployment. What instance is it on? I have various parameters. We have more advanced traffic features that users may leverage. We can see deployment history. We have runtime live logs. This tab analytics is very important. All predictions to the model are logged on Quack. Users have access to all live predictions. They can go back, research, and see in real time all the predictions and requests that the model is receiving. We have monitors where you can track data quality and data drift um, parameters, distribution, and also automations. You may create either um, retraining for models or batch executions. Everything is very simple and done live from the platform itself. When you wanna deploy a model, you go to the build tab, choose one of the relevant model builds you wanna deploy, click deploy, choose the relevant instance sizes. You can choose from a variety of CPU-based or GPU-based machines, depending on your model needs. Click deploy and that's it, your model is gonna be live. 
Quack also supports both REST API for models, Python, Java, Go, any type of interface you need to, to interface your model. And as we said before, everything is stored on JFrog. Simply go to the desired model and either click and open the artifact on JFrog or a specific file, which you can reach, or the X-ray scan results, which are directly accessible from here. Thank you for watching this demo video of the Quack and JFrog integration. For more details, please go to the Quack's partner page with JFrog or to the technical onboarding documentation where we have more details about how to integrate Quack and JFrog. Thank you.